But I do also want to ask you about a headline that crossed on the Bloomberg, and this is a report in the Wall Street Journal that Rich Clarida might be considered for a Fed position, um, for the vice chairman position. He and another economist are said to be in the writing, according to those in the know. Um, what are you hearing about that? Well, um, news to me, and uh, <laughs> great news if, if, if true. Um, I would say uh, great thing, only great things about Rich Clarida, who I've worked with for my eight years plus at PIMCO and most of the time in Newport Beach, but um, he's an exceptional leader, a great listener, he's exceptional, he's exemplary, and he's expert. And so if, if chosen, he'd be well suited for the job. So that's as much as I could say. And it's just, uh, I can only say great things about Rich. Rich, tell me about though, um, I mean, uh, Tony, tell me what Rich would contribute to the Fed, because we are seeing kind of a reconfiguration, if you will, a lot of different nominees, obviously a new Fed head coming in in 2018. What would Rich bring to the table in terms of the discussions that might be happening at the well, Fed? Being expert on the issues of monetary policy is important. Think about Ben Bernanke, for example, who is an advisor to PIMCO. He understood the, um, the, the Great Depression very well and it was very important uh, in terms of where monetary policy could fit in and what it could do. Uh, what happened during the Great Depression was is there was a decline in the money supply. I don't want to get too technical, but it fell by a third. In other words, the amount of money that existed fell by a third. Ben Bernanke understood that, so he printed lots of money so that banks would keep enough money in the system so that we'd keep spending as much as we normally would and the economy wouldn't collapse. That principle was something that one with great uh, expertise about monetary policy would bring to the table. And so there are numerous circumstances like that. That's the most severe and the most important one we've experienced in our lifetime. Uh, but things that, that would come along along the way that with expertise on monetary policy and how it can help an economy and, and help people's lives, most right? importantly, a trained economist is vitally important because it, uh, there are certain things that, that the Fed can and cannot do. Uh, Milton Friedman had said that one thing it, it can do, of course, is just to stabilize things when, when it's something else causing a problem. And that's, and that's what that something else was the housing market, for example, mm -hmm. in 2008. The Federal Reserve yeah. was able to, to help out. It can't generate new jobs, et cetera, et cetera, but it can ease these um, instability when it occurs, and, and if it's caused by money itself. And that's yeah. what happened in the Great Depression. It was caused by the lack of money in that case, or in other cases when there's high inflation in the 1970s, too much money. Right. Um, so the Federal Reserve can play a big role in understanding these principles of monetary policy, what it can and cannot do. And I advise people to go back to a paper from 1968 and Milton Friedman on what it can and cannot do, which is only a few things.